welcome you to this uh, 45 minutes of your Let's Live More focus group. Uh, just make sure your phones are turned off. Um, you're free to take notes. And what I wanted to let you know about this focus group is that we're here to talk about mental health and share our insights. It's more about talking to each other, finding out what we can do more to help as in this world, it's getting more and more complicated and more and more difficult. So I'm going to spend um, 10 minutes-ish to share my screen and do a presentation, and then we can um, carry on and then discuss how we can help each other, if that's okay. So um, today's topic is about combating mental health, identifying seven of the most common issues. Um, so I just, like I said, keep your video on mute, please. And the chat is not for intros as much as questions, because these questions are really important. These questions will make our forum really interactive and help each other. Um, so as the world evolves, as we are finding out in Ukraine, there is a war going on, as we've just come out of Brexit, as coronavirus hit, some of the most common mental health issues are depression, anxiety, struggling with workplace stress, sometimes having poor relationships with our colleagues, unhappy with our present, you know, with the present job. You know, you might choose a career that might not work for you. Sleep deprivation, suffering from relationship issues or isolation from friends, worrying about poor mental health because you know if you're sat home and worry it's very hard to come out of it and find a way through it unless you get the support so um, i'm sure you guys know that 32 percent of full-time employees have suffered some mental health issues or the other 48 percent have taken sick days to mask their mental health issues you know i didn't know whether you guys knew but in mike's case he will not actually discuss his mental health issues, but women are, you know, tend to struggle more because they tend to watch their feelings. They feel that deep inside them. 62% fear it might ruin if you disclose your uh, mental health issues. Uh, difficult in that colleague relationships. And 48% haven't told their managers at work they're struggling with mental health issues. So, did you, um, I'm sure you guys heard that a few years ago, Kate Spade, the fashion designer was found dead. The reason that she took on life or she had these issues was she isolated herself and this isolation caused her to feel that she couldn't talk to anybody, couldn't discuss these issues with anybody. And she was totally isolated and, you know, she felt overwhelmed by all of that stuff that was going on in her life and she couldn't cope. Now, dealing with anxiety, worry, and fear. So the most common mental health issues, everyone struggles with fear, anxiety, and worry. But it can be also normal to have a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of worry, because it improves our performance at work, our performance in our business, our performance in our daily life. Your physical reactions, though, are real and not imaginary. You cannot banish anxiety, but when it overwhelms you, you learn how to manage and avoid fearful situations to keep that anxiety going. So the key here, which I want to uh, emphasize is it's important to break our fear adrenaline, fear cycle. Now worry, all of us worry. We either worry about our money, about relationship issues, worry about work, worry about you know, how we're gonna pay our bills, we're now worrying about maybe about the Ukraine crisis. We're worrying about how Brexit has impacted our lives, worrying about the petrol prices, and it's increasing. What you tend to do in your mind, you will think about the worst case scenario. You know, your belief will be, I'm crap at talking to people. Am I good enough? What if I make a mistake? Now trying to cope is you try and control or suppress these thoughts. You avoid them. You seek reassurance from people and you keep on worrying and worrying about it. You can't control my worry. Worry makes you ill and it does affect your physical health. 
So, fear of change. We all believe that we know how we are scared of the cracks in the pavement or walking under a ladder. We're, we're just scared. We believe in the things that we know. We're, we're just terrified of this false belief that we have. Now, if you're scared to apply for a new job or try something new, the failure is the reason you cannot pursue your dreams. You lack that confidence. And you ask yourself, why am I feeling fearful? How am I going to come out of it? Sometimes we have failed in the past and you think you're never going to succeed, but there must be a way to succeed and finding that way is important. Thomas Edison has this very, very famous quote, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about cognitive bias. It's an ambiguity effect. It's a tendency, it, it, all of us have it, to believe that your present, you just look at your present through your past experiences and preferences. You don't look at it as in po the positive light. You don't see how you're going to move forward, how you're going to grow. How are you going to face your fears? And we have so many of us coming right now at us. Um, so we're just going to, you're going to talk yourself out of starting something new because you're always thinking of that worst case scenario. It's never bad as you predict and fear can blind or immobilize you. But you know something, guys, it's never as bad as you think. Um, I was on a webinar this morning and we were discussing how we've had so many things come at us in the UK and all over the world. And coronavirus obviously was the biggest thing, but we have finally come out of it now and we're finally starting to see the light at the end of that tunnel. And so my quote will be for today is this too shall pass. We will come out of lots of other things that are coming at us. I just have a little exercise that I always say. You know, sometimes you are in a situation where you've done something and you've spilled some milk or something has occurred, you know, you've dropped a glass on the floor. It doesn't mean that you're just going to think, oh, my God, and just think of the worst case scenario. Think of the negativity. Giving up does not mean a failure. Tomorrow is another day. Let's try again. But this time, let's not give up. Let's just try something new. Let's be positive. Now you're wondering about those most common issues, mental health issues like depression, anxiety, stress, worry, sleep deprivation, that all of these mental health issues are causing a fear of failure, relationship issues, unhappiness. What I just wanted to say to you guys is I write it as a risk. You raise your inner strength and your knowledge. These are simple triggers. We can all identify it. I've touched on a few of them only. How to manage and cope with them is the key here. How are we going to find our way out of this? So my quote for today is, your ability is what you're doing, what you're capable of doing. Your motivation determines what you do. Your attitude determines how well you do it. So all of these issues that I've discussed today don't work just in isolation. Each of one or combined can be overwhelming for us, can cause us issues. So what are we going to do to overcome them? So uh, thank you um, for listening to me.